This 160 pound woman is jumping off of a stationary cart, right? A wagon, All right? Let's not, she's jumping off of a wagon. Um, immediately after the velocity of the woman relative to the cart is 18 feet per second at 35 degrees. That's what it feels like. I passed this out. Did it, did it get to every table? Be sure that, or did I not pass it out? Where, where are the extras? Where are the extra? <laughs> okay. All right, so this problem right here. Yeah, and the formula sheet. Hopefully most of y'all got that. If you didn't, that's okay. <clears throat> All right, so this problem, this woman is jumping off of a cart. Initially, they're both stationary, but you can imagine, are y'all passing them around? Pass them, yeah, all the way, all the way. Okay, initially they're stationary, but she's going one way. What's gonna happen though, this cart is gonna slide backward. I don't know if this seems like a conservation of momentum problem. Does it seem like a collision? It is. Okay. So, but that 18 feet per second at 35 degrees, that's what she thinks she's jumping off as. Right? That's what she feels like she's jumping off. But I don't think she's going quite that fast because the, the cart is slipping out from under her. You might get injured if you really try this. You know, don't, don't try that at home. Uh, but anyway, I think I mentioned last class, in our momentum equation, we need the real velocity. We need the real velocity. We don't need that 18. I can't put that 18 cosine 35 as my x, my final x velocity. Because that's not the, her real final x velocity. OK. But anyway, knowing that it is a momentum problem and knowing that, very, very, very important, this is, direction matters. It's really two equations, my X momentum equation and my Y momentum equation, right? Vectors, I, J, directions really matter. So let me write the X momentum equation then the Y momentum equation. I'm given both the masses of the woman and the cart. So this is one where I'm gonna do the momentum of both of them, plus any impulse equals the momentum of both of them final, All right? So maybe I could say if she's A, mass velocity of A, mass velocity of B, that on the left-hand side, that's initial, mass velocity of A, mass velocity of B, on the right-hand side, that's final. Okay, initially, before the collision, uh, they, they're, they're stationary, All right? Before the collision, they're stationary. So both those are zero. Uh, this FT, this impulse, is there an impulse? There is an impulse between the woman and the cart and the cart and the woman, but it's internal since I'm doing both of their momentums. So in, in this equation, I'd say it's internal. Is there an external impulse? Yeah, the ground has an external impulse, but it's just gonna be, straight it's just going to be about the y direction so i would say that for this problem there's no x impulse the only x impulse would be equal and opposite of the cart and the woman so here's my equation zero equals mass of the woman uh, 160 over 32.2 va and 80 32.2 vb uh, I could have even multiplied that 32.2 uh, to the right-hand side. And let me do a little bit more math and say 2VA plus VB equals zero. But I cannot plug in. Also, the, remember, remind myself, this is only X. X, X. This is the X velocity. 
all right, I cannot just plug in 18 cosine 35 as my velocity of A because that's not the real velocity of A. What is and, and how can I find the real velocity of A? Well, how about we go back to uh, our relative velocity problem, relative velocity equation. All right, VA real equals VB real plus VA slash B perceived. I only want right now, I mean, for this equation, for this term, um, I want their x components, x coordinates. So, so maybe let's only look at the x. VA in the x equals VB in the x plus. All right, so that one is the x component is 18 cosine 35. And so I need to use that, this in conjunction with that equation it's really it's pretty much done for you let's substitute that in right there two equations two unknowns right one in terms of the other that would let me solve for vbx and vax okay so i would get vb in the x is negative 9.83 feet per second va in the x 4.915 feet per second does that kind of make sense that that, that that b would be going backward you know in the negative x direction and so that is the answer to part b i answered part b before i answered part um a all right so there's the the velocity of a in the x direction let me find the velocity of a in the y direction my instinct is to come down here to the y momentum e uh, <laughs> equation so mv plus mv plus external impulse equals mv plus mv this is all in the y um a b a b um, but initially, they're both at rest. Is there an impulse? Yes. Now there is an impulse in the y direction of the ground right here. So this impulse, I'm just leaving it as FT. Did I start recording? Yeah. Okay. Um, th there's no velocity of B in the y direction. Assuming it doesn't pop up or anything like that. I think it just slides back to the left. So this would be 160, 32.2 VAY. So that actually that equation doesn't actually help me solve for VAY because I don't know the impulse. Um, but I didn't use this. Let's maybe some of y'all may have noticed or thought about this. I haven't used the relative equation in the y direction v a y v b y plus v a slash b in the y what was that 18 sine 35 what is the real velocity in the y direction zero so actually the, the relative velocity in the y is the actual velocity in the y because that b that reference frame is not moving in the y is zero so this v a slash y is 18 sine 35 which is 10.32 feet per second now we can go ahead and answer what is the velocity the real velocity of the woman real velocity 4.915 in the I, 10.32 in the J. And then we can solve for the impulse. FT, 51.3. Uh, we There are a few options here. Uh, pound divided by gravity, pound force divided by gravity is a slug. Um, or we could kind of come over here and think about this. Pound force 
times seconds is those units, either of those units would work for English units. Okay, that was a tough one. That was an interesting one. Let's step back. Recognize it's a conservation of momentum. And remember, hey, I got X and Y. So use conservation of momentum. But I think it, there, there was a big red flag. It, it, even, it even gave you this A slash B that said it was relative velocity. So you thought, okay, I can't plug relative velocity into these equations. So I need to go back to my relative velocity you know, type problems that we've done before. The A to the B plus the A slash B in order to get the actual VA that I can plug in right there. Okay. That was a good one, I think. That was a good one. I gave that problem on a test. Uh, so be prepared for those types of problems. So let's go back to the last problem in our notes. 